The male bird, or peacock, is about the size of a turkey. He has a long tail of greenish blue feathers. The feathers actually grow from the peacock's back. The feathers are marked with bold spots that look like eyes. The female bird is smaller, less vividly coloured and has no train. She is called a peahen. Peacocks eat snails, frogs and insects, as well as grain, juicy grasses and bulbs. They often destroy crops. Peacocks live wild in India and Ceylon. They are found tame in all parts of the world. The hen makes a nest in a protected spot on the ground, laying 10 or more brownish eggs. Peacock reads P reads Petey Peacock liked to find things out for himself. When Petey Peacock saw a sign that said wet paint, do you think Petey Peacock believed it? No, Petey Peacock had to touch it to be sure. That's why the wet paint sign had Petey Peacock's footprint on it. One day Mrs Peacock said to her son Petey, Petey Peacock, the stove may possibly be hot because I prepared potatoes and peas earlier for Papa Peacock. Do you think that Petey Peacock was particularly careful not to touch the stove? No, Petey Peacock had to see for himself. That's why Petey Peacock often had a band-aid someplace on his body. When someone said, look out Petey Peacock, a car is coming. Do you think he believed them and jumped quickly out of the path of the approaching car? No, Petey Peacock didn't, unless he plainly saw the car himself. That's why Petey Peacock always had a few important tail feathers missing. One day, Petey Peacock found a strange, peculiar new fruit. At least he thought it was a fruit. As Petey Peacock pondered, what kind of fruit it could be, he became positive that his, this peculiar fruit wasn't a peach, a pear or a pineapple. Look at this, Petey Peacock called to his peacock friends. This is some to, new type of fruit, I think. No, Petey Peacock, one friend replied. It is plain to see that it is a pepper. Do you suppose Petey Peacock believed them? No, it's so pretty and shiny. I'm sure it's a sweet, delicious fruit, Petey Peacock said. Go ahead, one of his peacock friends said. Taste one and prove it. You'll find out. Just try it. Now, Petey Peacock sometimes remembered his footprint on the wet paint sign and his band-aids and his missing tail feathers. Sometimes Petey Peacock knew that he had made a mistake by not believing what he had been told. Just for a moment, Petey Peacock thought he should listen and pay attention. Well, Petey Peacock said, perhaps this is not the type of fruit you eat. This is the type of fruit used to make pies. Everyone laughed. Pies? Petey Peacock, you don't make pies out of pepper. Petey Peacock asked, haven't you heard of pepper pies? Actually, Peter Peacock Hadn't heard of pepper pies either. You're going to make a pepper pie, Petey Peacock? Sure, Petey Peacock said, beginning to pick peppers. A pepper pie may be good. Well, Petey, Peepers, Petey Peacock's pie was soon completed and he carried it proudly to Mother Peacock's oven. Just wait, Petey Peacock said with a pleased expression. You'll probably like it. Peppers are hot, Petey Peacock. They're so hot that they make you feel like your head will pop off, one peacock said. Peppers are almost as hot as firecrackers, Petey Peacock, another peacock said. 
Petey Peacock laughed and shut the door to the hot oven. Petey Peacock said, let's just wait and see. Now, I've never baked a pe pepper pie and I've never talked to anyone who has baked a pepper pie, but this is what happened next. There was a hissing sound, then a popping sound, and then a couple of bangs, and then with one tremendous whoosh, the door of the oven popped off and up, up, up went Petey Peacock's pepper pie. That pepper pie went up over the heads of all the peacocks, above the treetops, up into the clouds, and was never seen again. Petey Peacock, his pe peacock friends all called, your pie, it blew sky high. I know, said Petey Peacock. Would you think a pepper pie could blow sky high? I should have listened and learned. I should have believed. Others know more than I do. From now on, this peacock is going to respectfully listen to his parents, preachers and others, announced Petey Peacock. Did Petey Peacock always learn by listening to others? No, he didn't, did he? Sometimes he still chose to do it his own way. Did Petey Peacock believe what he read on signs or what others told him? No, no he didn't. What did Petey Peacock find? That's right, it was a pepper. Did Petey Peacock believe it was a fruit? He did, didn't he? Did Petey Peacock listen and learn? No, no he didn't. What did Petey Peacock do with the pepper? Yes, he baked a pepper pie. What happened to the oven? Yes, the door flew off and the pie blue sky high. Do you think Petey Peacock learned to listen? Hmm. Is it safe for boys and girls your size to cook with an oven? No, it's not, is it? Not yet. Not till you're bigger. Will you respectfully listen and learn when you are told something? Oh, I hope you do. Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the p sound? Pace. Can you hear the p sound in the word pace? Yes, pace has a p sound. Pop. Can you hear the p sound in the word pop? Yes, pop has the p sound. Sat. Can you hear the p sound in the word sat? No, sat doesn't have a p sound. Clay. Can you hear the p sound in the word clay? No, clay doesn't have a p sound. Lip. Can you hear the p sound in the word lip? Yes, lip has the p sound. Bring. Can you hear the p sound in the word bring? No, bring doesn't have the p sound. Drop. Can you hear the p sound in the word drop? Yes, drop has the p sound. Can you hear the p sound in the word soup? Soup. Can you hear the p sound? Yes, soup has the p sound. Who? Can you hear the p sound in the word who? No, who doesn't have the p sound? Paste. Can you hear the p sound in the word paste? Yes, paste has the p sound. 
Listen as I read a sentence. Can you find the word that has the p sound? My math pace is neat. Can you find the word that has the p sound? My math pace is neat. That's right. Pace has the p sound. Jane will not drop the book. Can you hear the p sound? Jane will not drop the book. That's right. Drop has the p sound. Mother is sad if I get paste on me. Can you find the word that has the p sound? Mother is sad if I get paste on me. That's right. Paste has the p sound. Ripe fruit is not hard. Can you find the word that has the p sound? Ripe fruit is not hard. That's right. Ripe. God hears us pray. Can you hear the p sound? God hears us pray. That's right. Pray has the p sound. Let's blend these sounds. P a p a pay pay. P a p a pa pa. P a p a pa pa. P a p a p. P, p, a, p, a, p, p, a, p, a, p, ape, ape, a, p, a, p, app, app, a, p, a, p, up, up, e, p. E p eep eep e p e p ep ep. Let's blend these sounds into words. A p a p ape ape t a p t a p tape tape. G a p g a p gape gape p a p a pay pay p a j p a j page page p a r p a r pair pair P a n p a n pain pain m a p m a p map map n a p n a p nap nap s a p s a p sap sap r a p r a p Rap, rap. S e e p c s e e p seep seep. P e e p p e e p peep peep. B e e p b e e e p beep beep. R E P R E P Reap Reap P A T P A T Pet Pet P A N P A N Pen Pen P A G P A G Peg Peg
Esteem them in love. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 13a. Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples. Thomas had been with Jesus and had listened to the things that Jesus taught. Sometimes Thomas had difficulty understanding what Jesus meant when Jesus talked about events that would happen in the future. There even may have been times that Thomas had trouble believing what other people told him. In the last few days before Jesus was crucified, he gathered the disciples together. Jesus comforted them by saying, I'm going to my father, and if I go to my father's house, you can go there too. I am going to prepare a place for you. Where I go, you will go also. You know where I am going, and you know the way. Jesus was talking about going to heaven, but Thomas didn't realize that. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Thomas found it hard to understand what Jesus meant when Jesus talked about going away and sending the Holy Spirit to help the disciples. Like the other disciples, Thomas did not understand that Jesus was going to be killed and would then be raised from the dead. A few days later, Jesus was crucified and all the disciples were sad. They met again the first day of the week behind closed doors because they were afraid that the men who killed Jesus would look for them. Suddenly, Jesus, who had been raised from the dead, appeared before them in the middle of the room. You can imagine how surprised the disciples were. Jesus said to them, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so I send you. Then Jesus told them how he wanted the disciples to go and tell the gospel to other people all over the world. Thomas was not with the other disciples when Jesus appeared. When Thomas came to where the disciples were, the first thing they told him was, Thomas, we have seen the Lord. Thomas knew that Jesus had been crucified and buried, and it was hard for Thomas to believe that Jesus was now alive. The joyful disciples kept on telling Thomas that Jesus was alive and had appeared to them. But Thomas said to them, I will believe it only when I can see the print of the nails in his hand and put my finger into the nail prints and put my hand into the scar on his side. Eight days later, Jesus' disciples were again meeting together. Thomas was there this time. And Jesus again came through the closed doors, stood among them and said, Peace be unto you. This time Jesus looked at Thomas and said, Reach out your finger and see my hands. Reach out your hand and touch the scar in my side. Don't be faithless, Thomas, but believing. Thomas knew this was Jesus. My Lord and my God, cried Thomas. Jesus said, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed and happy are those that believe without sin. We believe everything that God tells us in his word, the Bible. Whenever, whenever other people tell us things that agree with the Bible, we should listen to them and believe them. God said that we can go to heaven by believing in his son, Jesus Christ. And we must believe God. It is only by believing God's word that we can have the good things he wants us to have. Let's be sure we aren't doubting like Thomas, but believing. Let us trust, learn to trust in God and to believe his word. John 20, verse 19 to 31. Character objective. Respectful. To love people who help me to do right. Respectful is having a feeling of deep respect and honour mixed with wonder, awe and love for the person that God is using in my life to produce the character of Christ in me. Esteem them in love. 1 Thessalonians 5.13a Esteem them in love. 1 Thessalonians 5.13a Esteem them in love. 1 Thessalonians 5, 13a. 
Say it with me. Esteem them in love. 1 Thessalonians 5, 13a. Let's say it one more time. Esteem them in love. 1 Thessalonians 5, 13a. Peacock reads, P reads, All right, it's time to do your rope building pace now. Do pages 17 through 24 and any math pages your supervisor has assigned to you.